Hey guys, welcome to another recap of Dancing with the Stars. Oh my god, what a great show tonight, kind of. Alright, so the stars and the pros had to dance to songs that mean something to them personally. So the pro dancers came out, you know, the Special Six, the new troupe. They uh, demonstrated the Paso Doble, the Rumba, and the Samba, which was pretty good. Um, it was kind of weird, though. I think that guy was dancing with his sister, the Paso Doble. <laughs> Too sexy! Alright, so Wendy and Tony started the show with a foxtrot. I don't remember what the name of her song was, but it was something about being a DJ, and that's what her story was, about how she struggled. She didn't want to go to her parents' house. She'd rather sleep in her car. All right, uh, it wasn't good. You know it wasn't. Uh, she was like a bear with giant breast implants in a swamp, and her arms were pretty much dead fish arms. The thing that kills me about her is that she thinks she's so great. She's like, Tony, you made me a dancer now. You're not a dancer. You're a bear in a swamp with breast implants. And then uh, when Brooke Burke was interviewing her, if you could call it that, Tony made a good choreograph. <laughs> she kills me. All right, she ended up with a 15, which I thought was too high. All right, Chelsea Kane and Mark. Uh, they had a cha-cha. Somebody wrote a song for Chelsea. It was called Chelsea. <laughs> that is so cool. It was about her first love. And uh, I thought it was fantastic. They did a really good job. She had high energy. She got into it. It was fun. And it was semi-good. So they ended up with a 23. Chris Jericho and Cheryl. They had a rumba. Now, some of these rumbas that they did tonight were supposed to be like... For their parents and I don't know how they adapted a sexy song you know in honor of their parents especially if they passed away it was just kind of, it was all too weird for me I'm sorry so they did a rumba and to let it be and it was about his mom's accident how emotional that was for him and you know she eventually passed away after that I loved his story he did such a good job telling about how he just wanted to be him. I had tears in my eyes by the end of the dance, not because the dance was so great, just because he really conveyed the emotion to me. So his hips were not good, but you know, it really conveyed the emotion. And if it's about your mom, I don't think you want your hips to be grinded on somebody else. So I thought the judges were a little harsh though with the 21. I thought it was a little bit better than that. Kendra and Louie were up next with a rumba to you and me. And it was about how people were hating on her when she uh, met her husband and had her baby, I guess. Um, <laughs> the smoke machine kind of went awry, or at least they said they did. At first, I thought the whole ploy was to hide her in smoke for half of the uh, routine, but they say no. I don't think it was very sexy either. She was very awkward. I think she would have been better off pretending Louie was a pole and it might have turned out a little bit more sexy. I don't know. Uh, but FYI, Bruno loves strippers. I think that's code for he wants to be one. 23. I thought that was kind of the judges. Romeo and Chelsea. I keep wanting to say Romeo and Juliet up next, but it's Romeo and Chelsea. I'll be there. It's all about him losing his two cousins, one in a car accident, and I forget what the other, what he lost the other one to, but it sucks. He lost both of his cousins when he was young, or two of his cousins when he was young. He does not want to wear the leprechaun shoes anymore. Was that like a little throwback controversy to when his dad didn't want to wear the shoes? Because I don't think the, sh I, the shoes weren't that bad. Come on. He was stiff, and... The singer was really screechy during the performance, and it was really difficult to listen to, putting it kindly. <laughs> Everybody was ragging on Len about telling the truth. It wasn't good. I mean, it was okay, but it wasn't great. They ended up with a 20. Heinz and Kim were up next with a samba to Fantasy, the old Earth, Wind, and Fire song for his mom, who he's very proud of because she was a single mom. And I thought it was good, but I think Carrie Ann really got carried away saying, oh, it's like you've been dancing the samba your entire life. 
Really? That is insulting to people who have been dancing the samba for their entire life. I thought the judges were extremely generous, and they gave him a 25. Petra and Dimitri, or is it Petra? It's probably Petra. I've seen both. Um, waltz to You Raise Me Up, and this was this is a very emotional, beautiful song, and it was all about how she went back after she was hurt in the tsunami and saw the children and started a foundation which ended up um, rebuilding schools after natural disasters. She was really beautiful and graceful. That's the dance for her. I don't think she can ever recreate um, the success that she's had with the waltz because she's very, very tall and her limbs are very long and I really don't think that she's naturally used to moving around a lot <laughs> because models pretty much pose so the waltz was pretty good for her because it was a lot of posing. So I'm glad she at least had one week where she could shine, so 25 for them. Sugar Ray and Anna were up next with a Paso Doble, to my prerogative, you know, that old Bobby Brown number. Uh, and Britney Spears, actually, but I guess Bobby Brown did it originally. It's all about beating the odds. You know, he was the uh, underdog. So they had that ring announcer guy came out. It's too damn bad they weren't doing a rumba because that was the guy who says, are you, re are you ready to rumble, you know, and are you ready to rumba, not are you ready to paso? All right, so there was not a whole lot of actual dancing in the routine. He had the crowd pretty pumped up, though, because it was a catchy song, and, you know, he came out all angry and everything, but the dancing was bad, and I, you know, 20 for that. Kirsty and Max, O-M-G. Let's just start out by saying it was a rumba to Over the Rainbow. Love the song, you know, love the version that they did, the arrangement. It was about losing her mom, almost her dad, and then getting, like, um, her breakout role in Star Trek. Max hurt his leg and dumped her on the floor. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, I can't believe... He actually just dropped her on the floor. I felt really bad for her, but come on, she broke Max. <laughs> she broke him. <sighs> Poor Kirsty. You know, and then the judges were like, oh, but the band was so good, and you were so good after you actually got up, and you know what? If it was so good, why did they end up with a 21? Why are they penalizing her for Max hurting his leg if it was so good? See, I just don't, I don't like the judges, you know, pseudo-speak. It just, it bothers me when they're all like, oh, it was so good, 21. <laughs> Whatever. So then Ralph and Karina close the show uh, with their rumba to Stay Gold, because everybody knows Pony Boy, Stay Gold, you know, he was in that movie, The Outsiders. It was really clunky. I mean, he peaked like week one. <laughs> and now it's just, it's getting worse. He's not progressing. He's pretty much staying the same, I guess, and everybody else is progressing. A rumba is sexy and sensual and slow and deliberate, and he came out there and he was all pasa doble on her. So I have to agree with Len. It was too hard. Carrie Ann, it was not sexy. I'm sorry. Maybe more towards the end when he lost all of his steam and he, like, calmed down a little bit. But I need more of the sexy. I want a scoop of the sexy. So they ended up with a 21. Tomorrow night, it's going to be One Republic, and I believe Selena Gomez, and of course, the new dance troupe will be performing. So until then, much love.